All right. Well, in just a few days, the East Tennessee community is coming together to support people with a disabling and incurable condition called POTS. That stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. I am so incredibly honored to be the MC for this event on Sunday. I'm also going to speak at this. So if you follow me on social media, you probably know that I have POTS. Joining me here today is Shannon Allett. Shannon, thank you so much for being here with us today. We are so grateful for you. So Shannon, you are organizing this fantastic fundraiser. It's called Knox Rocks Pots. Try saying that 10 <laughs> times fast. And it's to raise money for research. So I know your motivation for why this is so important to you, but for those who are watching with us right now, our community, why do you do this? Um, our daughter has pots. Uh, she is now 17, a senior in high school, and she was diagnosed when she was just turning 13. So we've actually done a fundraiser every year since she was 13, started very small, raised a couple hundred dollars, just wanted to be able to give back to research because we figured if we didn't do anything to help fund research, who would? Because so many people had never heard of it. Um, over the years, it's grown and we've added on more mama and papa warriors that want to help out. And now we have a great community um, of parents of POTS kids that live in Knoxville and also adults that have POTS, hence you, um, <laughs> yes. that are chipping in and we're yeah. doing everything we can to raise the most money we can and the most fun way we can. Awesome. So this is an awesome family fun day. It is, and it, it's so much work has gone into this. Now, to explain this to you, if you aren't familiar, POTS is a form of dysautonomia. So that means the autonomic nervous system doesn't work correctly in these patients. Everything you don't think about stops working properly. Imagine that. That means things like digestion, temperature control, blood flow. So you obviously have seen the symptoms. Tell us yes. some of those symptoms in your child, for instance. So our daughter was a swimmer, um, and she was doing practices where it was a heart rate practice, and they would time their heart rate mm. to see wh what your target heart rate is right. and where you were. Everybody else is hitting, you know, 160 to 180, and she's coming home and saying, I hit 235. Mm. And we were like, what? So that started the ball rolling, and once that ball starts rolling, you realize POTS is there, but POTS is like the leader of the gang and brings a lot of gang members with it. That's a so really good way to put it. here comes the gang, and now we're into, you know, GI doctors, and we're into scoliosis, and we're into Ehlers-Danlos, and we're into, her list is miles long. And it keeps going. It tends yes. to do that. I understand that very well. Um, and then the specialists who treat this condition are just inundated right now with patients because a lot of people who are infected with COVID-19 are now developing POTS. That virus is actually causing this disorder. But, you know, many patients do develop POTS after a virus, so this wasn't very surprising to this community. Not a rare condition. It's just really poorly understood. And Shannon, that makes it all the more important right now to fund research and spread awareness. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then, at that again, thank you so much. Let's go over some of the event details here. I think we've got a uh, full screen to show you. There we go. Um, thank you for all of your hard work. I, I'm so thrilled to be somewhere with so much support. It's incredible. This community has been amazing. If you are watching, I would love to get to meet you out there on Sunday. This is from 4 to 7 at Hard Knocks Pizza in Hardin Valley. There will be music, a raffle, and, of course, pizza and a great cause. Shannon, thank you. Thanks for having me.